Hey there, welcome back. It's Canada Day here, north of the 49th parallel, if you happen to be an American who lives in the continental 48. And the rest of the world, yeah, we're on top of the United States, and I guess, depending how you hold your globe, below Russia. And this wonderful lighting I have at this time of day is coming through the window and making me look probably about 102, but that's okay. Day. And this is my poor attempt at a Canadian special on our July the 1st holiday. I have gone with my Tier 9 Leopard 2A6, of which we do have a few in real life in our Canadian Armed Forces, wearing the Berlin Brigade paint, which we don't decorate our vehicles with here. Well, it's not like we decorate, but you get the idea. So I picked a oil and gas map Fangwix. So there's the pipeline off to my left, and the refineries to my right and a ways down. I've played this map quite a few times. It is not my favorite. But, ooh, that was just like wham. Terrible. You can spot me that far away. I have not actually played my Leopard a lot, so it is pretty down on the list on upgrades. And yeah, I just, I haven't played it much, so... Yeah, I should not have taken that shot. And of course, this is a Tier 9 battle, and I don't have high hopes of actually winning it, because the teams recently have been kind of... disappointing. No, 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 no. So this is pretty much just a... I'm just messing around, really. Just jumping in, I'm gonna just do what I can to help out. Really. I guess that's what you call an exhibition battle. I'm just, there's no particular reason to play it other than it's Canada Day. And, yeah. So let's scoot around on this side. For no good reason, because we have three vehicles as our secondary. There's going to be a big battle at the refinery. Let's climb up here and have a look. I know I'm going right into an ambush because they're just right around here somewhere. See, spotted already. Let's see if we can get to these rocks for some decent kind of cover. Let's see, if right up. Oh, yes, one of you. First, the first shot's wasted trying to take down their APS, and then, yeah. And I'm firing heat, which still works at tier 9. The Germans, they can build a good gun. Except that angle was really not in my favor. Did I actually hear a woo? Oh no! I sat out there way too long. Come on. Now where are you? There. You shall hurt nobody again. Now where are you? You're over that ridge, so... Uh, yeah, let's make a move on it. See that T90 MS will help me, and uh, I think that was not a good idea. Yeah, APS. So your full strength, I am under half. That's a T50. No, that's, yeah, okay. I don't know why. I, yeah, I'm confused. I thought it was a T14 actually, but okay, that's not working at all. So let's switch out to. Armor piercing. And probably enough time for his APS to get back online. Well, he's taking some damage, so I'm assuming it's that T90 that's dealt out a little bit of damage. There we go. Now we got a detention. Hopefully, yeah, there come the missiles. Ah, he's making a run for it. My driver is down. Okay, so let's creep up behind him here if we can. 
And we'll take a shot from this side, which is not what I wanted to have happen. And I'm about to die. I can feel it happening already. Yep. That's okay. We'll come back to yikes way back here. At least I have one in the pipe ready to go. Okay, so we know you're down there. That T90 looks like he was... He was trying to encircle him. But this Abrams does pack a bit of a bite to it. That's not the good shot. What is that over there? Uh, squint and RCR. There you are. That puts some health into you. Come on. Actually, I meant to say that puts some hurt into you, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm tired. It's a long day. I'll just shoot that building because it's there. Four minutes on the clock. We're not even at the refinery. Where the main battle's about to take place. We need to get over there. So the Abrams is finally down by the looks of it. Now we gotta hammer these guys because we're not in, in any kind of condition to actually cap. I need to be careful because a leopard is fast and its speed can get me into trouble because it's just the way it works. What do we got? Challenger 2 stands a pretty good chance of being a damaged sponge. Uh, right. This is not a very advantageous position because I can be spotted and taken care of. So let's try this. What do we got? Head over match on you. I did not want you to see me. A reload would be nice. That's pretty good. That looks looking promising. Oh, oh, come on, load, load. My loader dead? No. Armor 129, you're done. Noriete. That could be promising. That's a good shot. Three minutes on the clock. Come on, guys, let's go. Uh, 17 AP shells left. I think he's done for. Hit over match. I got some damage on him. There's another Bradley. He's wiped out. We got another Bradley. You're wiped out. The bad guys are slowly falling away, but... Wow. I'm not even getting anything on these guys. Wow. Okay. Five kills. 10,000 damage. I've met my damage requirement. Or minimum self set damage requirement I want to get. Reload is not good. Wow, okay, I guess we're just done. Nice. I can handle that. that not a bad little Canada Day kind of ooh ah. With Leopard 2A6, tier 9. A oil and gas map. That was alright. Not bad for just jumping in and going, eh, let's play it. Okay, so... How well did we do? Yeah, did the 10,000 damage. 13 battle coins, 119,000 credits, 7491 reputation. I'm going to say I came in number 2. I'm going to go with 2. Oh, did not see that coming. Bottom of the bucket. Wow. Wow. 
but I did die. So I think if I didn't die, and I played a little bit more carefully, that would have been a whole lot better. But it seemed like I did a lot of damage, so... Hmm. Number two, it is. And there you have it. The leopard sitting in Moscow. Adorned. With the flag I picked up, I think it's about two years ago now I've had that. I'd have to look it up. Go back to the blog, see when I picked it up. So if you sat through all that and got something out of it, by all means give yourself a thumbs up. If you want to give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel, leave a comment in the section below. That would really, really help me out, and I would appreciate it immensely. How would you have played that different with your Leopard 2A6? By all means, share your tips and tricks, once again, in the comment section below, and I'll take them to heart the next time I go rolling out with my Leopard 2A6 on Phalanx. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.